It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man. But he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed. He's got power. All the tools to rest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night time. So here's the former University of Missouri wrestler, one Tyron Woodley, first realized the UFC belt back in 2016. And this is a guy who poses a lot of different threats for this UFC welterweight division. He's a problem. He's a guy that's very tough to prepare for because he has a great wrestling background, but he has this athleticism and this ability to put your lights out with that big right hand that you cannot even focus too much on stopping takedowns. Tyron Woodley is truly one of the best welterweights in the world and one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Two-time NCAA Division I All-American back in 03 in 2005, and he certainly carved out a nice niche in MMA. Tyron Woodley ready to add to his legacy here tonight. tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. So a nice pop from the crowd as the UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley gets set to defend the title here. They call him the chosen one, but not a lot of guys are calling out Tyron Woodley really as complete and well-rounded a mixed martial artist as we have at 170 pounds. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice. Nicely done. Tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Wood. Man, look at him load up on that right. Circling towards the left now. What a beautiful jab landing there. Fast pace here in the early going. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, 
but he caught the kick. All right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's... Oh! He gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Here. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. He's got to be careful here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Wood. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. He Bottom needs to fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Now he's going full mount. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Woodley's back in full mount. Big ground and pound. This is a terrible position. Takes his back now. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, how good right, is that right, as he gets right, out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Devastated body keep land. Well, it looks like Woodley's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round, too, which could have an impact on the judges' potential. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' mind. And you walk back to your corner. When you get up from a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it. Right. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. Okay, listen. And Woodley's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Second round underway. Oh, nice watch. Oh, defense into offense there as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect jab. Good job blocking that shot. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio. 
be a... Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, he's gonna submit it! Oh, he escapes! He got out! He, wow, that is great submission defense. And he's back up. is high, I repeat, confidence is high, and I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned nearly. Oh, that's a long run. Oh, he's hurt. So maybe he goes for another takedown. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. And now he's a tip of choke. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sunk. Oh, and he's back up again. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. Oh, my goodness! And that will do it! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You could tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck.